offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, streaming live from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. We are now on the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for all your intentions, especially for the special intentions of Pope Francis, for the good health of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, Special Intentions of our Superior General, F Father Valdir Jose de Castro, SSP, for all doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. We include in this, in in this celebration the special intentions of Dr. Sara Salamat, Jorge Vargas, J.V. Vargas, J.V. and Christine Borja and family, Cynthia Flores, Jane and Jomert Bar Barillas, Ryan Sulit and Hannah Chu, Marty and Kat Quinto, Trina Sulit and Jess Concepcion, Marley Baby and J.V. Sulit, Nick Sison, Arvin and Justin Alvarado, Arnold Sulit, Valeriana Serrano, Jocelyn Enot, Bianca Camille Junisho, and family, Macy and Jasmine, V. Moliata and family, Wendell Lay, Hans Beabello, Daniel Bunch, Toshio Takada, Pauline Marie Villanueva, SBCM Batch 2019 Malinao Family Novincido Mijares Family Panganiban Mijares Family Gilberto Advincola Kat Crosby Alex Grace Win, C. Jane Francis Pagco Carl Martin and Gian Pauline Dumawal Arian Sagales and family, Gresen Kunan and family. For the Thanksgiving intentions of Maria Takeda, Vicky Vargas, Jaden and Jamie Barillas, Sulet family, Alvardo and Campos family, Quigencio and Tolentino family, Ilagan and Quinto family, Season family, Janisha family, Nunez family, Passion Mill and Catalan family, Wendell Lay Hans Bea Abello, Christine Joyce Titurla, Dennis Solano and family, Sart Sandoval Tan Abaya Lo, for the birthday Thanksgiving of Gidget Campos, Lilia Alvarado, Aldrich Dane P. Adding, Leslie Patelinghug, Ryan R. Malinao, Anne Marie Advincola, Lisa Simbulan. For the good health of Elena Chao, Pedro Peña, Jace De Los Santos, Laguar Laguador and Bariles family, Robert and Norma Gosun, Zeni De La Cruz, Jennifer Uy and family, Jimmy Enot, Mr. and Mrs. Vilma Junisho, 
Passion Mill and Catalan Family, Cindy Ejercito and Family, Abelo and Jose Families, Al Alma Manalang and Family, Betilda Gamir, Polita Malinao, EJ JC Renz Novencido, Mark and Matthew Panganiban, Maverick and Milton Panganiban, and Angelit Angelita Mihares, Bernardo Novencido, Advincola Family, Sherry Beltran. For the healing and recovery of Herbert Garong, Donna Levardo, Roberto Calves, Junisha Rongavilla, Sosimo Rosel, Rosenda Inot, Ningning Cervantes, Lainek Abelo, Alma Cotionco, Jesus de Guzman Manalang, Maria Concepcion T. Mirasol, Alejandro Gabriel Ibay, Carlin Sunga Gamir, Jose Pateno, Gloria Manalo, Robert Mijares Sr., Ed Teja and Tenjin, Ian Delera, Annalisa Magdadaro, Gilberto Advincola, Darwin Alex Grace C. Trish Wina, Michelle and Benny Reyes. We also pray for the souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19, for all the intentions offered through Sambuhay TV Mass, and those that are enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration on this 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and that the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, God's blessings are bestowed on us, not only for the good of self, but for the building of God's kingdom here on earth. If we use our talents for the spread of Christ's gospel and for the benefit of our brothers and sisters, then we shall have profit profitably invested them, proving ourselves trustworthy servants of the Lord. Now, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. 
You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated on the right hand of the Father. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, is entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing price. She brings him good, not evil, all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and works with loving hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor and extends her arms to the needy. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a reward for her labors and let her works praise her at the city gates. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying, Peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of light or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you O lord jesus told his disciples this parable a man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them to one he gave five talents to another two to a third one to its according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, that the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here, it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, you knew that I harvest why I did, where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have it 
back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But the one from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where the bewailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang araw sa ating mga kasambuhay. We are now on the close of the liturgical year. And the gospel points to the end times, which the scholars call parousia, also pointing to the second coming of our Lord Jesus. That is why the gospel reading uses the parable of the talents to point to the period of time intervening before the coming or the return of the Lord. How do we behave in the meantime that the Lord has not yet arrived? Are we vigilant and attentive to the responsibilities that God has given to us? How do we look at God? Is He a generous master? who entrusts his care of the household to us, or he is a task master or a slave master who demands profits from the people's labors. Of course, as we look at our life, my dear brothers and sisters, each one of us has been given by the Lord certain talents and gifts, personal which we give to uh, the people around us. What we do with that life that God has given to us is our own share of telling the Lord, Lord, this is how I made my life. Let us look at certain people with giftedness. I was reading a um, story of, given by Father Bel San Luis. He tells of the story of Maricel Aragon Yicks, some years back. He finished his grade school in two years. And he finished high school at the age of eight. And at the age of 11, he took up two courses, law and medicine. Sabi nila, bionic woman. Hmm. Yes, maybe she has been talented and achieved a lot of things. But to be talented is not enough. What is it for? What is life for? If you are gifted with a life, how do you do with your life that God has given to you? Let us take another story of Michael Phelps, legendary swimmer who has uh, participated in uh, different uh, swimming competitions in the Olympics. He has gathered a lot of medals, 22 medals, 18 of which are gold. And uh, he also had another 18 medals, records, all of them at the highest level. But after the competition in 2012 in London Olympics, he found out in himself that he has been spending so much time in the swimming pool, only there his life revolves around the swimming pool. Yes, maybe he has extraordinary success, but Michael Phelps was a wounded person. He realized that he was abandoned by his father at the age of 12. And this memory continued to haunt him even until his adulthood. And felt had another problem after he retired in, uh, from swimming in 2012. 
he lacked purpose in life. Yes, swimming dominated his life since he was a child. And now that it's almost over, he had nothing more to do in life. So, after that, he threw himself into partying, getting isolated from families, and without any direction, until one day, he was found in a ditch with, uh, with uh, arrested for drunken driving. This is what he told in his story at ESPN. And uh, for that purpose, his life really went into a spin, he says. No direction at all. Until he met another person who tells him, Yes, Michael, life some, has something better. His former friend and NFL player, Ray Lewis, stepped in to help him and encouraged him to have rehabilitation. And when he was in the rehabilitation, he was given a book, Purpose Driven Life. And since he read that book, he said, There is someone greater in life than me, and there is a God who me gives direction into my life. After the rehabilitation, Phelps would say to his friend, Thank you for giving me a purpose. It has changed my life. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, the world has given us a lot of gifted persons, not just Phelps. But uh, the world has gifted us with people who are in science, in technology, in medicine to improve life. But as we look at our own lives, again, is it serving the purpose for which the Creator has given it? Of course, we look at our lives sometimes if there's no one watching over us, gawin mo ang gusto mo. Walang pakialam ni ang Diyos sapagkat gusto mo ang gusto mo. But the Lord would tell us, if you are doing things by yourself, if you do not know where you are going, you will probably end up somewhere else. Just like Michael Phelps ending up in the ditch. What do, how do we look at God in our life? If we look God in a positive way, like a kind master who put his trust on us, his servants, then we look at ourselves as responsible stewards who can create new things with our abilities and talents that God has given to us. God does not give us finished products to enjoy. But he gives us proper tools to make life better for ourselves and for those entrusted to us in love. In a sense, we are partners of God in the care of creation. That is the care of the earth, which is our home. This is the call of Pope Francis when he wrote, the encyclical Laudato Si. We are partners in the care of our common home, the earth, and should be like partners, just like the first reading, the husband and wife are partners. Just like this reading in the book of the Proverbs, the writer praises the wife who is a treasure to the husband. She is busy with a spindle to make wool, she holds out her hand to the poor and the needy. She comports herself with charm, not cranky and complaining, but rather a joyful worker in the management of the home. When you have a partner in life, in the home that you can treasure, it is a joy to live with those persons. But if you live with someone complaining, and making a lot of criticisms here and there, it seems that life is like become a hell. So we don't have to wait for 
the end times for hell to come when it is already happening here. And dear brothers and sisters, we are partners of God in this creation. As they say, take care of the earth. Yes, we have a lot of talented people to make life more comfortable. We are not just making our own world here, but rather it is for a temporary time that we say to the Lord, Lord, we are not staying here forever. For those who look at God as a slave master, ito naman ang negative image of God, a taskmaster who puts too much work on his servants and enjoy the fruits of others' works. Sometimes, maybe the gospel is not talking simply about God, but talks also of all other masters and stewards uh, who are able to uh, benefit from others' works and let them work like slaves. God is not a capitalist who takes the lion's share of the profits and gives only a misly kakaramput na sahod sa mga workers who finds themselves in desperate and sorry condition. Yung mga taong kaawa-awa sa trabaho. Hindi lamang dito sa loob ng ating bansa, but especially those working outside with a lot of, uh, of masters who are really very uh, slavish in their way of treatment. Kaawa-awa yung ating mga OFWs. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, yeah, we should look at God and uh, even as the others who are masters and stewards, we should look also as partners in the same improvement of the world and its services. We are all brothers and sisters. Together, as one family, we enjoy the bounty of the goodness of God. Even as in the family, all the children enjoy the bounty of the goodness of their parents. God is our Father who provides for the welfare of His children. In His recent encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, Brothers All or Sisters All, Pope Francis enjoins us to take care of each other even as we enjoy together the fruits of the earth. For the land is given to all, and the fruits of the land must be for all. No one has so much to eat while the others suffer. At the end of time, the Lord will tell us, whatever you did to the least of my brethren, you have done it to me. What do we then present to the Lord when he comes? The parable urges us to evaluate our lives and talents, all of which are gifts from the Lord. Everything that we have is not even our own. Rather, all that we have are God's investments and God's enterprise. Even our life is not our own. It belongs to God. Indeed, life is a gift, and what we do with our life is our gift back to God. When God asks for our accountability, what we have done with our life, are we happy to show how we shared it with others? So that when we, the Lord will tell us, as you have done your responsibilities, I can give you greater responsibilities to take care of five cities or ten cities, because you have done well. For those who are in power, for those who have money, for those in the position to take care of others, with power comes great responsibility. Hindi lamang kay Spider-Man yan, no? but also for those who are given that charge, that entrustment, and that authority and power 
to take care of the welfare of all, not just of some. Yes, all that we have, wealth, prosperity in terms of economy, healthcare, technological advancement, general well-being of people, all of these are products of the creative and imaginative mind of men and women who are gifted by the great mind of God, the creator of all beings. God has given us all the materials. We are not building our own er earthly city apart from God. Rather, when we made good of God's investment in us, we too will share the joy of God's kingdom which we start today and will be completed at the end of time. When we close our eyes, can we say, Lord, the world is a better place after I have passed through it? Or will the world tell us, good riddance, dumaan ka lang, walang nangyari? Hmm? Let it be a positive way of telling us, Lord, the world is a better place because I put my love in it, I cared for it, I cared for nature, I cared for my family, I cared for everyone. We are all brothers and sisters under one fatherhood of God. And so we say, come, enjoy the Father's kingdom. God bless us. We proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven, heaven and earth, earth, of all of things, things visible and, and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, God born of the, the Father before, before all ages, ages God from God, God, light from light, light true God from God true God, God begotten, begotten not, not made, consubstantial with the Father. the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. Of his, and his kingdom, kingdom will have, have no end. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the, Lord giver of the giver of life, who, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe, I believe in one, one holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic, and apostolic church. church. I confess, I confess one, one baptism for the forgiveness, for the forgiveness of, sins. of sins. And, and I, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, of the dead and the life, life of the world, of the world to, come. to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that we may learn to prepare for your, His Son's coming by using well our gifts and every good opportunity so that our lives may yield a rich and increase of love for the benefit of his glory, with confidence we pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayers. May the church, the people of God, be enlightened and sanctified by God's wisdom so that they may use well their talents and gifts for the building up of the church. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May political and civil leaders, as well as policemen, use their talents and power to defend the life of the innocent and to render justice to victims of terrorism and violence. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our prayer. May all workers here and abroad who are experiencing difficulties and struggles in their work be comforted by the love and care of their loved ones and their community. We pray. Lord, Lord listen to our prayers. prayer. Like the industrious and reliable servants of the gospel, may our people appreciate hard and honest work as means to build their lives and their future. We pray. Lord, Lord listen to our prayer. prayer. 
that those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven. We pray. Lord, Lord hear listen our to our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. Grant our petitions, O Father, and strengthen us to live as your faithful servants, ever mindful of your goodness and gifts to us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may offer in the sight of your majesty, may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you, and gain us the price of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed men in your own image and set humanity over the whole creation in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. Through Christ our Lord and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos na makapangyarihan, Namupuno ang langit at lupa, Nalwalatihan mo. O sana, o sana, sa kahitaasan, Pinagpala ang naparirito, Sangala ng Panginoon O sana, o sana Sa kaitahan You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray By sending down your Spirit upon them Like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Administrator, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As children of one Father in heaven, we have the confidence to pray. We 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace all of you. Peace. This is Jesus, our Lord, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for our souls during this month of November. Hear us, O Merciful Father, as we remember in love our departed loved ones whom we have placed in your hands, acknowledge, we pray, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Enfold them in the arms of your mercy, in the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and in the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest gone unto them, O Lord. And let your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Together we also pray the Oracha Imparata. God our Father, we come, we come to, to you in our need, need to ask your protection, protection against, against the COVID-19 that, that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray, pray that, that you guide the people tasked tasked to find cures for this, for this disease, disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they, that they may minister to the sick with competence, with competence and, and compassion. We pray, we pray for, for those, those afflicted. afflicted. May, may they be restored, restored to health, to health soon. soon. Protect, protect those, those who care, care for them, them. grant eternal, eternal rest, rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work, work for the good of all and to help those in need. We, we implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to, and to save, save us from our fears. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ your Son, who lives, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly, we fly to your protection, to your protection O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, 
Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungson, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Blessed James Alberione, pray for us. Blessed Timothy Jacar, pray for us. For those who are listening, this uh, Sambuhay Mass, the Society of St. Paul and St. Paul's are calling for cash donations for the victims of the recent super typhoons. We are opening our donation channels to the St. Paul Seminary Foundation Incorporated Bank accounts. So you look at them at the screen and don't forget to add in your deposit Ayuda blessing lives all the donations will be directed to the most affected areas through their respective diocesan social action centers my dear friends thank you very much and let us continue praying for each other especially in this time of need the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessing Bestow pardon and peace, O Lord, we pray, upon your faithful, that they may be cleansed from every offense and serve you with untroubled hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to love and serve the Lord in our brothers and sisters. Thanks be to God. Panginoong lumikha ng kalangitan at tuma Ang sansinukuman ay di sukat sa iyong katakilan Ano pa kaya ito pa ba? Samo ng magda, magdala ng magka. Pumanaw ka po sa tahanan daan sa yung kaluwalagian. Puspusin mo ng biyaya ang dumudulong sa yung nabana. Thank you for celebrating with us. We now invite you to pray with us our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. 
Jesus' life. Live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus' life. Do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus' life. Grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus' truth. May I be light for the world. Jesus' way. May I be example and model for souls. Jesus' life. May my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart Jesus, Divine Master, I thank and bless your most lovable heart for the great gift of the Holy Eucharist. Your love makes you dwell in the Holy Tabernacle. Renew your passion in the Mass and give yourself as food for our souls in Holy Communion. May I know you, hidden God. May I draw salutary waters from the font of your heart. Grant me the grace to visit you every day in this sacrament, to understand and actively participate in Holy Mass, to receive Holy Communion often with faith and love. Sweetheart of my Jesus, make me love you more and more. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth, and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.